Hello and welcome to another episode of the Magic Arena Run. Today we're going to continue our revenge match with the Demir Manipulation. I'm a little bit under the weather. It's been um, quite rainy these past few days and, I kind, I'm, and I'm just a little bit tired so I kind of have a bit of the flu. But um, So I'm not going to be able to talk as much but we'll see how the game goes. kind of feel like I want to finish this one at least. I'm kind of afraid something might happen in the interim. Okay, so last time we... Um, from previously we have one win one loss this match could be our last one we could get a few more after this well let's see how let's see how well it goes so I was feeling all right on sun Sunday coming coming off a great high especially after that um S seven seven wi seven wins one loss run in, in draft then boom monday got got hit with the got hit with the flu so slight so i'm a bit on the tired side but i don't think it's anything i can't handle at least now sp speaking of things that i can can or can't handle i'm Okay, let's see. I'll definitely keep this one because I can at least play something in one and two. Now, speaking of things I can't handle, I've been testing out the his the history lesson. That's the very first um deck you get from the well, not quite from the tutorial, but pretty much from the experience. Like, if you've noticed that um after you you will get um two color decks from Magic the Gathering on as part of your achievements. Hmm, this is quite interesting. Probably let's just cycle this one because we definitely need a quick answer. And he answered zombie, so this is a zombie deck. So definitely gonna need the double black. Okay, so we're trying to control zombies. Definitely gonna murder that death baron. So and well, I'll t I'll talk about it li later. But um, the short of it is the decks are interest. The decks are interesting, and they seem to be a bit more powerful. So we we got that going for it. Okay, so I'm going down to fifteen. At least I can answer the mimic I next turn. And the dead answer. So I'm gonna need to start drawing lands if I want to hit Noxious and Torrential Gear Hulk. This is actually a case where fate. Okay. So hits Graveyard Marshal. This will end badly for you. My yeah, thankfully. The so at least next turn, our opponent's going to have to start playing zombies from the graveyard. Can't play Metallic Mimic, but can play Death Mar um, Graveyard Marshal and Death Baron. I can Chupacabra in response. So, but I'm more worried about what he's going to do with them. Well, he actually can just use... He, he has to use the mana for it anyway. So he's going to play Boat out. This is a very interesting take on the mono black deck. We'll take out the graveyard marshal because this produces even more. And let's create a token. So if I draw another land, I can use Noxious Gear. I can just hit Noxious Gear Hulk right off the bat. We are losing. We are losing quite a bit of life just from her ability. So we need to start hitting back soon. Wait a minute, did anything die? Yeah, that didn't quite work. Well, technically this didn't quite work either, so I'm going to have to create another token. Power obeys the powerful. I'm going to have to play Noxious Gear Hulk. So 
So let's get some let's get some of our life back. Yes, we will take that action. And you need to start controlling. Yeah. Well, our opponent got a little bit careless with the fatal push. That's prop. I understand the formatting has to be written like this just to get it to work, but some cases where it doesn't work that well. So, yeah, if you're not really, if you're not careful, you're opening up up yourself to these kinds of events. So, definitely want the labyrinth guardians. I might actually drop the. I might actually drop the treasure maps here. Another barrel might. Okay. Let's also drop the syncopates because we're going second. We can just go with fatal pushes instead. So we're kind of responding at this point. Do I want a. Let's take a Gaunty because just to see if we can rip off something good from the top. Not much in the way of artifacts, so hostage taker is only going to take creatures. I might actually drop the hostage takers in favor of. El one copy of Eldest Reborn. Okay, let's. And let's drop Tetsumok. Yeah, Tetsumok's really not working out. In terms of the Elder Dragons, the only one that got any actual play was Galta. Nezahal is actually quite good too. Itali would probably be somewhere in third. Yeah, the white and the black ones kind of got the shaft. At least the black one was, is slightly better. So we're definitely keeping... Okay, there's way too many lands here, but... Hmm. I run the risk of not getting anything if I mulligan. We can cycle this at least. Now let's keep this. Okay, so we opened up the fatal push at least. Yeah, that was. This is some um, past turn. No need to kill him just yet. Now, now you have to kill him. Again, we need to be careful with the target and shenanigans. De definitely have to ditch this. Definitely have to start cycling cards now. So at least we can counter our opponent's next threat. So our opponent is probably going to play something big. Please play Lili Liliana, Red Baron. I'll accept it. If we lose this game, the Syncopates come back in. Now we are looking for... Okay, that's a decent one. So at least we can answer one creature and we can probably get... Which one do I want to get back? Death Baron actually Death Baron's actually a good combo with our Scarab God if ever Josu Vest. Oh unfortunately we're not gonna get to kill it. And I'm probably going to have to sideboard. So this this he sacrifices Lord of the Curse. And I just need to find a way to deal with this guy. Fatal push is not gonna do it unless I can somehow get one something to die on my end. Field of Ruin. Hey! Field of Ruin. Okay. We answered that one. But Field of Ruin costs two. Let's see. One, two. I'll only have four left. I can Torrential Gear Hulk, but I won't be able to block. I can draw. use it to draw cards, though. So, let's just pass the turn there. He hasn't been playing much of anything, so... We kind of got that going for us. And if he tries to play something big, we just Torrential into... Okay, take the damage. Okay. We Torrential into... Supreme Will. 
Yes, we cast it. And we're going to counter Liliana. And more importantly, we get to borrow her. I won't go easy on you. And I can hit it with you. Okay, so we'll borrow Liliana Death's Majesty. Oh, it's you. You hold no power over me. So what did we lose? Not much. He is gonna lose Josu Vesto. And our opponent concedes on that. I guess his um I guess he was counting on several cards, but if you notice, the mono black didn't. He, I didn't see any means of card draw or whatnot, so he probably got shafted on that end. Well, so far so good. We did get us. We did get the second win, so we do get our pay buy in back. Let's see if we can get a third win. Probably the lesson there is. Don't be in a rush to play threats, especially if the control deck has to answer the threats you already have first. So this one's a definite keeper. We do have. We won't have much of anything in the first... Well, at least we can cycle this, I guess. We'll keep this one. We just need one more land to hit the... But at least we get some help here. Hopefully, our opponent's deck is not super fast. Sometimes I have no idea what to how to interpret um, Sarkhan, whether... Well, I guess we have two... Okay, this is going to be aggressive. Okay, Bowman Curry, this is an aggressive one. Gonna be in for a world of hurt. I'm gonna have to play this one. I need to hold up syncopate, unfortunately. <coughs> Knowing mono red, there is definitely a follow up. And okay, let's pay pay correctly. X plus one. So I, at least I don't have to see the scrap this the scrounger ever again. Still taking down the courier. Definitely gonna play Evolving Wilds first. Yeah. Now I'm really hoping for, to get another land. So let's crack this first. Let's get double black just in case. And pass the turn. With this deck, we're definitely gonna be um, siding out the murders for cast. Actually, you could just side out for Fatal Push. Well, it depends what our opponent has on the tree drop slot. If he has ant crop crashers, I think I'll keep murders. Okay, so I'm gonna keep taking damage. Okay, let's just let's just see if we can draw a card in this turn or the next. Uh, draw a card. Draw a land. I'm definitely drawing a card. Nope, that's not land. So I might have to side out some of my torrential gear hulks. Definitely siding out Neza Hulk. Okay, we got our land. So could take it as a hostage, but no, let's no, let's just um let's just ensure it's not a threat anymore. Shoot. <coughs> Opponent's probably gonna braid him in response, yeah. So it's a good thing I didn't try to use hostage taker. I'll save it for when he starts draining his removal spells. I'm still I am still too land shy. Oh, you didn't have to remove so he was okay. He's not four mana. If he plays Rekindling Phoenix, Hostage Taker, it's gonna be somewhat scary. Huh? There's land five, so at least this will buy us some time. So borrow your Rekindling Phoenix. I sincerely doubt I'm gonna be able to cast him next turn. And I and I don't have a, and torrential gear hooks only gonna get draw me two cards. So here comes the burn spell. 
Okay, there's the upgrade, so he's gonna get Rekindling Phoenix back. Okay, let's just cycle for one. Okay, Nezahal, not the one I wanted to see. Okay, so... Yep. So we're going to lose the hostage taker again. Well, our opponent seems to be a bit land flooded. Or well, we're still gonna lose hostage taker. He's got at least eight... Oh, no, he didn't. So I have options here. I can Torrential Gear Hulk to just draw two cards. But let's let's just get our the Rekindling Phoenix out here. Now the hor the worst thing is these guys are if this um I, even if I get the egg, I don't have a Rekindling Phoenix in my graveyard. It'll go to his graveyard, so I won't get it back. At least a Memorial to Fall. He's only gonna get Nomad Courier. Okay, Earthshaker Kenra means Hostage Taker can't block. So I might just take the 4 damage. Or not. Okay. So, okay, let's see if he has a burn spell. The thing is that he can also just eternalize it next turn. So at least I can flash in the Torrential Gear Hulk in response. could just memorial to folly it now also I guess. No, that doesn't kinda doesn't do anything. Really depends what this last card is. It's a good thing I took out that Bomad Courier. Oops, okay. okay, not a magma spray. I'm definitely just gonna swing with the entire team. Because I kinda have to. the turn so at least I, I'm probably just gonna get two cards but at least I hit six man that's a that's a good sigh of relief yeah he yep, he's definitely land flooded he hit Chandra that's okay I know I know at least he can't I am hot aren't I So the interesting thing is, if he holds something back, okay, gonna just hit the hostage taker. That's okay. That's why I used it immediately. Having so I'm gonna take four. Oh, I'm not gonna take four. Okay, so I'll just torrential gear hulk anyway. I think he kind. I think he predicted I had the torrential gear hulk. So right now I'm hoping to have. I'm hoping to draw at least one more land, so I can. So I could trade. Okay, there's my one more land. So I'm going to swing with everybody. He's gonna definitely. He has to block one of two. Either case, I just use Tetsum off the. Okay, he's blocking the Kindling Phoenix. Let them trade. So he's down to one. So let's see. I get an. Okay, let's let these resolve first. He gets an egg. Maybe he doesn't get a second egg. Okay, got the egg. So. Prey counter on the egg, then end combat and just play our own Tetsumok. So this is okay. So Tetsumok kind of redeemed himself. This is the one game where it was good. Fatal push is coming in. So end combat. We'll have Nezahal next turn. Yeah. 
So at least I don't have to worry about another Phoenix. And Chandra is... Yeah, Chandra's in no condition to save herself. Yeah, he's down to one card. Wait, he could buy back Rekindling Phoenix, but... He could. It's an option. He is land flooded. He might as well do it. Yeah, he's gonna buy back Rekindling Phoenix. Doesn't have haste, thank goodness. So, that's one less worry. So I just need to hold up something. Okay, no. So we got, let's go to the next game. No legendary, so I'm probably gonna. S okay, syncopates go out. Fatal pushes come in. Treasure maps go. I think I could keep the compass. Cast downs come in. Murders come out. Uh, I'm gonna put one Gaunti and one Eldest Reborn. I could put Kitesail Freebooter too. That actually takes out. Okay. Hostage Taker was okay. Tetsumok and Nezahal aren't. Torrential Gear Hulk. I'll take out the Eldest Reborn. Just put in three Kitesail Freebooters. If he has to spend removal spells to get his removal spells back, it's okay. He's just spending it on the freebooters instead of anything else. So I'm feeling sad that Knowing that I have to take out Tetsumal, considering it did what I needed it to do, but I can't, can't carry over spilled milk. Okay, so we got our three lands. I guess we could make this work. Tezzeret probably should drop Tezzeret out, actually. Let's keep it. Bomat Courier, turn one. So, if we... If we lose this game, we are gonna put Syncopates back in. I think... No, Supreme Will was kinda okay... Did this allow us or probably not? Actually, I'm not so sure. Okay, so... We're hit... Okay, so we're gonna hit the... Hyper Aggro drop. Come on, Fatal Push. And, or at least give me something to do on turn 2. Turn 2, not turn 3. Oh well. <coughs> so I'm gonna take a little more damage. I have to. I'm gonna. I'm forced to play Champion of Wits turn 3. I, I honestly don't think he's stranded on 2 lands. So let's play Champion of Wits. It's probably gonna die to removal, but at least we get something for turn 4. So I'm gonna drop Tezzeret and Supreme Will. Yeah, Tezzeret goes. Actually, Noxious Gear Hulk could go too. Yeah, let's just drop Noxious Gear Hulk. So here comes the burn spell. Not. And our opponent's stuck on two m mana. I will definitely trade. I'll definitely trade these two. So let's see what he's got in the next play. So I'm definitely I'm definitely playing hostage. Okay, scrap heap scrounger. So we've got our land number five. I could play my own. Ho okay, I'm gonna play hostage taker. I'm gonna take a scrap heap scrounger. At, least it, at, at, at the least, it buys me time. Cause next turn, next turn is scarab god. Cause our, if it's mono red, any way he has of killing it will just bring it back to my hand. He's not 4 mana. Rekindling Phoenix. Okay. Submerge Bone again. 
No, let's play the submerged boneyard first. Okay, let's just play our own scrappy scrounger. Pass the turn. Let's wait for him to attack first. I'm just gonna bounce the rekindling phoenix. Well, if he manages to eternalize this guy, I might just bounce it instead. Okay. So I probably just replace it. No harm, no foul. Just. It's like a mini blue fog. I can actually offer the trade. Let's see if he, he's probably not gonna block it. I'm interesting this I'm interested to see if he does block it. He probably won't. Okay, didn't block it. So let's see if I hit Scarab God, I can get Noxious Gear Hulk at least, okay. So, Scarab God, I will hold on to the Fatal Push then. So we're gonna take a little more damage. Does he have a way of answering my graveyard? That's the question. Probably should have dumped the Supreme- well. Yeah, I probably should have dumped the Supreme Will. Glorybringer. Wait, this one is at beginning of upkeep, okay. Let's see what happens. Does he... Okay. If he exerts and tries... To... Okay, he doesn't exert. He's going for the kill. My turn. So let's play Evolving Wilds first. Let's crack it. Give me a swamp. I don't know. I doubt I'll, I'll win this one. This one's a bit tough, but let's see. No guts, no glory. Let's buy back Noxious Gear Hulk. Buys me some life back. So we hit for ten. Now the other option I have is no wait, we have to be careful because I need to prepare for this token. He is what I the worst case I have to hold up for this token. So I can't just cast fatal push willy nilly. It'd be nice to get our opponent's glory bringer. Save it for next turn. So he's gonna exile. I'll let it resolve. I will just block the gear hulk. No, block it. I will just block the Bomat Courier with the Gear Hulk. At least it's one less he might just have two running burn spells, that's the thing. Okay, he's got one burn spell. Let's see if he has the other one. Okay. So block. He might have an... Well, it was, it was a given. I kind of have to block. So I can't... I still can't answer Phoenix and... He's really hoping to have a light lightning strike in his hand. So we take lightning strike or a shock will do it. Let's look at his hand. Yep, he's got the lightning strike. That's a good game. And we'll just okay, just take the hit. This time syncopates come back in. Hostage taker was quite good. 
I never drew the kite cell freebooter, so Supreme Will's gonna go, Syncopate's come in, the disallow goes for, whoops, Syncopate. I guess I can put another Baral, then drop, let's drop the disallow package, or I can put the Supreme Will package back in. Let's just drop let's just drop Gonti. Let's drop Tezzer at the schemer. There you go. So now moment of truth. Let's see if we can win this game. Okay, so what's an ideal hand? Not quite. I don't have to my colors, but I do have things I can at least play something on turn two. I'm scared to mulligan this because I already have three mana, but I'm gonna mulligan this. If the game gives us that hand, it probably means the other seven card hand is even worse. Okay, we're gonna keep this one, but we're gonna have to dump that in the bottom. Now we need at least one a blue source, in either this turn or the next turn. This turn preferred. Okay. Yet another Boma Courier on turn one. Okay, so I didn't get my blue source. Well, maybe I might get two running blacks, so at least I can play Veraska's Content. A blue source would be great just about now. Oh no, worst possible card. I will definitely have to hit Veraska's Content on that later. Still no mana. This is, we're gonna we're gonna go down in flames in the worst possible way. Maybe it was better if I kept this, the previous hand. That one already had three mana. This is probably a good case of I, I should have gone down to five. If you think of it, I had the two and a three drop that are conditional. This one was not. I definitely have place for it. But now I'm gonna take one, two, three, four, five, six damage. I could get two I could get two life back if I draw another land. got more okay yeah he went in for the all aggro package okay we got our blue source but I can't just keep taking damage forever so we're gonna take four damage next turn so we need at least two more lands soul scar me just actually quite good against scarab god but I can't <coughs> but at least it'll take him time. But at least I could recast it again after he burns his burn spells on it. I might opt also opt to just you no. Know, if I draw a fifth land, I will play Scarab God right then and there. Okay. Because we have to answer his threats, and I can't just keep waiting around. And I can't just keep waiting around for uh, um, for him to play something just to walk into my supreme will. In fact, this is starting to look bad already. I think in mon I think if the deck is mono red, the sideboard should be just drop all the counter spells. S Though we were on the f play, so please no glory bringer, because glory bringer will actually knock him down to one. Okay. So I will hit. The Earthshaker Kenra. 
kind of have to. That's the bigger source of damage. Lightning Strike drops it down to 2-2. Two, two. That's perfect. Okay. It's a good thing I didn't try to block Soul Scar Mage. So at least I still get the trade. It still comes back to hand. And... Maybe if I draw this... Okay, if I draw the 6th mana, I can just play Torrential Gear Hulk Vra into Vraska's Contempt. Yeah, I would... I just Vraska's Contempt the Bowmat Cur... No, Soul Scar Mage. I need to get the life. Okay, and that was not the land I was looking for, so Scarab God again it is. Now, we're, now if our opponent has a burn spell then just eternalizes we're in for a world of hurt he might be tempted to just crack this guy now okay he's cracking it now so that's one less damage and he didn't draw a burn spell yet so he probably should have, he probably should have played that land first to ensure he could okay he did draw land anyway Earthshaker, Kenra, won't get past Scarab God. Give Zik. Get Sunlight. Yeah, flew a bit hard. Aether Spear, Fear Harvester. So he's, so he's not trying to hit Soul Scarred Mage. If he attacks, I'm still priced into block. Let's draw a card. If I were to make some... The irony is... Okay, let's start with Kitesil Freebooter. I could use Scarab God on his Earth... His Earth Shaker, Kenra. So let's... Okay, Ska Blank Hand. He can play Hazara to trigger Aether's Fire... Aether Sphere Harvester, so... We'll take this Earth Shaker, Kenra. So this is interesting. So, so let's make Soul Scar Mage unable to block. So I'm gonna swing in for nine. He's got a long ways. Well, he could start dumping cards. That might be the issue. He plays four. He, he then he just pay. He, then he pays three. He can go down to one. Oh shoot, that was a misplay. Yeah, that was a very bad misplay. I needed to hold back the can I needed to hold back Scarab God. Yep. The yep. When you're down with the flu, math is very hard. So what's gonna happen here is he has the mana to play Hazaret, ditch a card. Oh wait. Okay, good, good. He still he, he still has to draw a card, so he can't hit me just yet. I actually need to hold up Torrential Gear Hulk. I actually need yeah, I need to hold up Torrential Gear Hulk to Vraska's Contempt Hazaret. Glory bringer just as bad. Oh no, he can't hit me for Oh, that's game already. Okay. So all all my matos were not. I I I lose. And yeah, it didn't matter whether I held back or not. So let's see if he If he exerts it's over. That's kinda on the board already. Yep. There we go. Good game. Yeah. Maybe us playing Kitesil Freebooter might have been a bit of a mistake, but... Yeah, that we would have had an extra life cushion. But, oh well, there it goes. At least we got two games off this one compared to the last run, so... All in all, not too bad. 
So let's claim our prize here. Let's see, we probably didn't get. Well, that's a shame. I I've tried it once. I tried Kefnet's last word once. It was, yeah, meh. Anyway, so I'm gonna. We're now gonna proceed to deck building. Okay. Okay. So there we go. So this was our deck the last time. Actually, I. Th so this is the deck I'm running now. So as you can see. Actually, a lot of the cards kind of make sense. Yeah, we definitely are gonna drop, make a few small tweaks. Bye bye, Tetsumok. Nezahal will go to the sideboard. I put Gonti mainboard actually. This ma mainboard Gonti. <coughs> and I might. I actually would prefer. Well, it's hard to say. Tomatic Compass is okay. Treasure Maps okay. But what combination? We generally need to hit a lot of our lands with Tomatic Compass, so I might actually just put the fourth one. What other considerations do we have here? Well, actually for starters, Murder can go to the sideboard, Cast Down should go to the main board. In fact, I could probably put the third cast down, but there are a good number of creature less decks, so maybe not quite. Hmm. Not just Gear Hulk's okay as a one off. It's kind of like, it's kind of like our a larger Chupacabra. The Chupacabras were also okay. So what is card number sixty? Oh yeah, let's fix the mana base so no submerged bone yards. Fetid pools. Prob I'm gonna just drop it for now. But your combina your decision on how many fetid pools, how many drawn catacombs. Evolving wilds is kind of important for if you're still gonna keep running fatal push. A way to generate treasure. Yeah, so we're definitely keeping the treasure maps. Also, it also helps tether it a bit. Tomatic compass is okay, so one off. Hmm. I could just put the second brawl here. Because I do have a decent number of counter spells main board anyway. So let's see, what would we put in the sideboard? No, wait, first we have to set this as standard so we're not getting all the other torments. Oh, wait. Okay, so. We could opt for Torment of Hellfire. Actually, Torment of Scarabs is a. This one's an interesting control because um, at least it gives us inevitability and you can just drop it on turn 4. So it probably wouldn't have done as well in the mono red matchup, but this would do, be interesting in some control matchups. So I guess we could put that. The Labyrinth Guardian. We never seem. We never drew it. So. I think two blink of an eyes is okay. Yeah, I don't think I see myself getting three. So let's put two torment of scarabs here. Eldest reborn did did quite a good job, especially in that um on the technically our third game on the first game. You you guys seen that was a good one. So I'm so I'm gonna run this to analysis. Let's see if we can fix the mana base a bit also. Nine. We were having a few problems with the mana, and definitely no Akhans run. Okay, that mess that messed it up again. Let's run it again. So mana distribution, mana source distribution. We're definitely a lot more blue than black. So we could even. So we could just. So we could fix this to like ten six. Having more duels will help if you can, but I'm not gonna just um, I'm not just gonna dump every duel into here. It's up, up to you guys to decide how you, how many how how much you can afford. Deck's already quite expensive as it is. Mm, we could actually cut down even. In hindsight, if I remembered what our man, well, actually our mana mix was a bit 
closer to this one but if I had remembered our mana mix before I definitely would have just kept the tree blue I got too greedy here because all of our sideboard cards are black that is an issue so we can't just go full on 10-6 actually 9-7 might still be the right call because we can we can sideboard a lot of black cards in it will shift the deck a lot in fact maybe a one way to do it is drop down to eight add the third evolving wilds now it will su now there will be some cases where this was this is bad but being able to choose what we need at the moment for example if we had two islands and one evolving wilds instead of just the three islands it might have been better so now we got a lot more black than blue it's not so great for the main deck here but it, remember our sideboard is majority black a lot of the cards will be removing like syncopate is blue the tomatic compass and the treasure maps are colorless so we'll be siding in a lot of black it's going to shift the deck draft uh, significantly so that's it for so that's going to be it for the deck and that will be that's it for this run of um demir manipulation so if you like what you see please don't forget to like and subscribe hmm, this is actually a very short video video that's what we get for not running into a control deck but yeah i'm a bit under the weather so this it's going to be a bit short today i'll try to do mono blue next time i might also try to do the the green white token deck at the same time not the new one but the old one back before actually comparing the old one to the new one is quite interesting anyway that's for another time so thank you very much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment maybe you guys have any ideas of what i could do before rotation comes up anyway that's it for this episode thank you very much for watching hope to see you guys again next time